Here are some hidden gems of non-food items that preppers swear by, especially myself. This is nowhere near an all-inclusive list, but it's some favorites of mine that I just picked up recently and wanted to share with you items that I think are going to be in shorter supply coming up real soon. Most long-term preppers have this first in, first out rule. And if you follow that, whenever I use up something, I put it on my list so that I know I need to get these items to go back in my preps wherever I'm keeping them at, whether it's home, offsite, wherever. This video, I have things broken up into two different sides of the table because one area is various items and another one is more gear type emergency situation things. So we'll start first on the left hand side of this table. These are a lot of everyday use items, things that we use if it's daily, weekly, or monthly. That is how I go by these items here. A lot of items here on this left side, the majority do come from the Dollar Tree because they are still the best price at this time. Prices are going up, so I doubt they will be the best deal coming up before the end of the year. Tissues. These are 175 count. They're difficult to find. They're usually 130 something or whatever, but still a good deal. Napkins, 150 of them. I always have these on hand. If I open a package, I replace it the next time I go back to shop. Spills and stuff happen, gross stuff happens, so you want to have something you can just clean up and toss. These sponges, it's a six pack. It has the soft side and has a scrubby side to them. I love these. I use them all the time. So when I open a package, I replace it. Hand sanitizer, make sure you get the 70% alcohol this size bottle were impossible to find in 2020. Baby wipes, make sure when you buy these, check the number in the package as well as the size in inches so you get the best bang for your buck. Always make sure you have over-the-counter medications that you guys use on a daily basis or weekly basis. Allergy season has been terrible for us up here. These are the over-the-counter meds I get all the time. It's worth the price. The nighttime cold and flu relief with acetaminophen, that is great to have, especially when you're feeling rough. The adult cough and cold, that one is good. It's a DM. That has been used a lot recently as well. Liquid acetaminophen for pain control. My daughter does not take pills, so I always have the liquid of this on hand. There's also a daytime cold medicine, cold and flu. The taste isn't good on some of them. Some of them are great. This is allergy oral medication. My daughter uses this because again, it's not a pill. Ibuprofen, I've lived on it before, especially when you have issues cutting a piece of wood with a saw <laughs> like I've had. These cotton rounds, again, Whenever I have a package that's opened and dispersed in our bathrooms, I always put it on the list for another one. They're great for fire starters as well, especially if you put some Vaseline on those. Keep those in your go bags. Also, toothpaste. It, the best deal ever is if you find the Colgate 5 ounce boxes. These are the best deal. You cannot find this for $1.25 right now. As far as I know, I haven't been back again. It could still be going up in price. Who knows? Readers, I need reading glasses to see. I have contacts in my eyeballs for distance, but up close, I need my readers to see. This Chap Ice Lip Repair is my favorite for lips. It is not like regular chapstick. It actually does a really, really good job. Q-tips, 350 of them, if you get lucky. Every Dollar Tree or Dollar Store has different items in stock. I also forgot that uh, deodorant there as well. Shampoo and conditioner. This Pro brand, I like it. It's just fine for us for our hair. They're 32 ounces. These are humongous. They last a long time. I have long hair. My daughter has short hair. It will take us approximately a, almost a year, depending give or take, 
and it is worthwhile to invest in these. Yes, they have some other smaller kinds that you might like to smell better or this or that. These smell good. They work good. My daughter also likes her electric toothbrush. $1.25, it comes with a battery, and it does have replacement heads and a four-pack that you can purchase. Here's the deodorant power stick, the normal size you'd get in the store. It is half the price. Three bars of soap. This palm olive smells good. I always kind of go by a good smell. If it's gross, I don't want to use it. It's good on your skin. I don't mind it. You may or may not like it, but it is the best deal size-wise of all the soap packages. There's three of them in a package. It's easy to store long-term. Get them stocked up while you can. That way you don't have to worry about them for a year. I have enough soap for probably two years. Epsom salts, if you find this two pound, it is no scent, it's just plain. You can use this for many different things. You don't have to use it for a laxative. You can soak a sore muscle in there. If you pull something, get injured, this is something you, you want to have. Take an Epsom salt bath if you don't feel well. Really helpful. Then, moving on to the other items which I like to get as well. This gas line, antifreeze, and water remover. That is worth the money, and it actually works. I use this in my truck in the winter here. In Michigan, we have winter during Halloween. Plastic cups, 28 count of them. It's a great deal. You can use those over and over again. Yes, you can wash them if you want to, or you can throw them away. That caulk, I am getting ready right now to start doing all the caulking around all the windows in my house. If you're lucky, you can go. I have a different dollar store. It's not a Dollar Tree store. They have the gun that you can use, the metal gun for that caulk. Tarps, no, it's not the best quality. They're not humongous, but if you have enough of them, they're great for whatever. If you have a window that gets busted out, these push pins, you can use these for a lot of things. Putting up the tarps over a window. If you don't have any screws or nails, it's an emergency situation. You can use those. I use them to keep my Christmas tree lights up that we use to save money on electricity. The tire repair kit, six different pieces in there. It helps you get back where you're going or going to, or going from, whatever it is. If you get a flat tire, you can't change it. You don't have a jack, your jack's broke. It has the, all the things that you need to plug a hole in your tire and try to get back where you need to go. So that is something I recommend in your truck or your vehicle. A large size poncho, this was at a different type of a Dollar Tree store, or dollar store I should say. It is a large size, it's 52 inches by 80 inches, they are thicker than the other kind. If you ever come across these crank flashlights, these were originally from Dollar Tree store. If you find any, grab them, they will be priceless and excellent bartering items for sure. Also emergency blankets, if you find those any place. Pick them up because you never know when you're going to need them. As well as the 32 count, it's 300 and, or 320 of them in that whole package of matches. Good bartering item if you have plenty of lighters and you don't want to use matches. But guess what? Somebody is going to be trading for something with those matches if they need them. Drop cloths are worth it as well for windows, for keeping drafts out. I use those all over my home. Same thing with the foam tape that I put around all the corners that have drafts coming in. The window insulation kits. Sometimes I don't even try to use the hair dryer because my dog will poke a hole in it or something. But those are good to have to try and keep your house warmer in the winter. Fire starters. The instant fire, I found that at a different Dollar Tree store, but the quick survives. Those were in the Dollar Tree stores for a limited time, a long time ago. So if you ever come across either of those kinds of things, pick them up. The cable ties, I get them all different sizes. This is a usual one. There's 60 in this count, and that is not typical. Right now, they're cutting the amount in the packaging, so you're not getting the best deals. So if you see something, grab them. I have a variety of different packs for heating. This is a body warmer, lasts for 12 hours. It's got a sticky back on it, so if you're trying to stay warm, you can 
unpeel it, stick it on your shirt, on your chest, on your back, on your kids, whatever. It helps. They have toe warmers. There's two different brands, two different Dollar Tree stores. I like both of them. That one is adhesive with the toe warmers. Some of them are, some of them aren't. You don't know what you're going to get until you find them. But have them in your go bag. Keep them in your house. Keep them in your vehicle. All different reasons why you might need to have something like that. Especially if the power's out, your furnace breaks down, and you guys are trying to stay warm in your, you're living in a tent in your living room, trying to keep warm, that'll help you out. This is also another good thing I like to have is really, it's a vinyl covered cable with looped ends. This is something I would use around my generator outside. Make sure that it is tied down, padlocked. Anything of value that you have outside that you don't want somebody to try and get away with real quick, that is something you want to get like this. And also, you can find some pretty good, decent locks and keys at Dollar Tree stores as well. It just depends. You might need a couple of them, but it's better than none. This is my recent haul of items that are non-food and other non-food related items for my preps that I keep on hand in all the different places. So... Let me know what you guys are prepping up and where you get it from.